Good morning. I'm Adam Bramlett, principal of Eastland High School. I want to thank you for joining us this morning as we honor our seniors uh, and we honor our community uh, and say thank you for giving back. Uh, this morning we were going to go through several scholarships, uh, talk a little bit about each scholarship uh, and a little bit about each kid that, that's won the scholarship. So again, we thank you for joining us this morning. Each year the band boosters give scholarships to students that are seniors and graduating out of the band program. They do this within three categories, outstanding service, outstanding musicianship, and outstanding leadership. We would like to recognize the following students who will each receive a $75 scholarship from the band boosters. For outstanding service, Kagan Dove, Jet Whittington, Alondra Alvarez, and A.B. Rosales. For outstanding musicianship, Joshua Carkey, Leslie Palacios, and Haley Clark. And for leadership, Ben Mendoza and Heath Slavens. Thank you very much to these amazing seniors, and we can't wait to see what you guys do next. Hi, I'm Carrie Simmons. I am the wife of Greg Simmons. We have two daughters, Caitlin and Carly Simmons. They both were members of the Eastland High School Band. Caitlin played the bass clarinet, and Carly played the French horn. Greg and I also were Eastland Band Boosters volunteers. We helped run the concession stand for 10 years. I wanted to talk to you today about the scholarship that our family provides. Greg Simmons was a volunteer firefighter for 21 years. He was with Saxe Fire Department and Eastland Fire Department. His passion in life was helping others by lifting a helping hand and lifting their spirits with a funny joke. On the faithful day of April 15, 2011, Greg lost his life fighting a wildland fire. He was killed in the light of duty, and, but is remembered for his dedication and dependability to be there when needed. The purpose of providing the Greg Simmons Memorial Firefighter Scholarship is to pass on Greg's essence to the younger generation and to keep his legacy alive. And this year, we proudly present the Greg Simmons Memorial Firefighter Scholarship to Leslie Palacios. Congratulations and we wish you the best in your endeavors. Hello, I'm Terry Slavens with KTX Radio and I'm here to present the Dan Staggs Don Pearson Memorial Scholarship. We've done this for several years now and Dan Staggs and Don Pearson were pioneers in the radio industry in Eastland County as there was once two FM stations here in Eastland. I'm fortunate enough to own the license uh, that Dan Staggs had and I operate the radio station out of Don Pearson's old radio station. This year's recipients of the Dan Staggs Don Pearson KTX Memorial Scholarship are Brenna Foster, Austin Rose, Hannah Jordan, Dylan Broyles, Taylor Hodges, and Heath Slavens. Congratulations and we wish you well in your future endeavors. Charles P. Marshall Memorial Scholarship. The Marshall Athletic Scholarship was founded by Mrs. Lois Marshall in honor of her husband, Charles P. Marshall. Mr. Marshall was principal of Eastland High School from 1955 until 1969 and was also the counselor here until 1983. He announced every home football game from 1955 to 1989. Marshall remained an avid supporter of Maverick Athletics, which is evident in the esteemed athletic scholarship presented to an outstanding student athlete. The criteria for this scholarship is not only be a great student athlete, but also have an outstanding record in English 4. This scholarship in the amount of $250 is awarded to Jordan Mays. Good morning, my name is Laura Williams, and today I have the distinct honor and privilege of presenting several different agriculture-based scholarships. The first one I'm going to present is from the Eastland Ag Boosters. It is in the amount of $500, and this year we have two recipients, Kendra Fullen and Bailey Browning. The next scholarship that we have the honor of uh, presenting is the Charles Hutto Memorial Scholarship. 
this is a scholarship that represents uh, a man of great integrity and was a big value to this community. And we kind of look at some different critiques and different areas that um, that fit to this. And so we'll always pick an outstanding senior that has given their all to our program. Uh, this year's recipient in the amount of $250 is Kendra Fullen. And last but not least is the Eastland FFA Scholarship. Um, in order to be eligible for the scholarship, a uh, member must be active all four years of their high school career and, and participate with us through CDEs, LDEs, uh, show, uh, show uh, through different various stock shows and things of that nature. And this year we are awarding five scholarships at a value of $250 each. And those recipients are Brenna Foster, Hannah Jordan, Laura Tucker, Kendra Fullen, and Jordan Mays. Thank you. Hey everyone, we would like to just wish all you seniors the best of luck. Um, I know this has been a really tough year and a different year, and I'm sorry that y'all have had to go through a lot of the things that you've had to go through, but we're equally as proud of you for your accomplishments. And we have, um, I've got some great little helpers here tonight. This is Rayleigh. This is Harper, and they're going to help us give out the Tanner Ray French Memorial Scholarship. We've been doing this each year since 2012 in Eastland, and um, we lost Tanner in 2011 to suicide. He was 19 years old. <laughs> he started uh, school there in Eastland and then ended up graduating in Breckenridge. So, um, Anyway, we just want to, we get a lot of really good essays every year on um, some of the ways that these kids have been affected by suicide. And one name I want to mention that apparently he meant, apparently he meant a lot to a lot of people there in Eastland is Dakota Mayors. So I want to give my sympathy to his family as well because I know his loss was tough for a lot of people. So we are going to start with um, McKenna Marino mm -hmm. and her scholarship amount is $250. So congratulations McKenna. And next we have Anthony Bonilla and his scholarship amount is $250. Yay! Good job. Can I say something? More? Okay, you can say say Joshua. Joshua Karki. Joshua Karki, and his amount is two hundred and fifty. Yay, Joshua! Congratulations. Go, Joshua! Yeah. And next we have Hannah, Hannah. McGrath. McGrath. And her amount is two hundred and fifty dollars. $250. Very good. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, next we have Taylor. Taylor O'Valley. Taylor O'Valley. And the amount of that scholarship is $500. $500. Congratulations, Taylor. And last we have Jordan. Jordan. Mace. 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 And that scholarship amount is? $500. $500. Yes. Uh, That's right. $500. Yes, you can. And Rayleigh has a few words she would like to say before we close. Um, I know you said about Uncle Tanner's died, and Uncle Tanner always loves you. He's not, he's, he's doing okay. He always takes care of you. And God too. That's right. Do you want to say anything? No. Can you tell everybody congratulations? Congratulations. That's right. Congratulations. <laughs> Bye, <Thanks>. everyone. <laughs> Thank y'all. Bye. Jenny Plowman Memorial Scholarship. Jenny Plowman was born May 23rd, 1973. After graduating high school, she became a CNA and devoted the rest of her life to serving others. Jenny was the wife of Kevin Plowman and part owner of May's Meat Market. Jenny passed away unexpectedly on March 24th, 2018. Throughout her life, Jenny embodied the qualities that every healthcare professional should possess. She was humble, compassionate, had incredible work ethic, and truly cared for each 
of the many patients she took care of. In honor of Jenny, Mays would like to present $300 scholarships to several graduating seniors who put on going onto a healthcare field and have a GPA above 3.0. We hope these students will possess the qualities that made Jenny the phenomenal person and caretaker that she was to so many. Recipients of this year's Jenny Plowman Scholarship are Bailey Browning, Britta Foster, Jordan Mays, Hannah McGrath, and Leslie Palacios. Eastland County Farm Bureau Scholarship. The Eastland County Farm Bureau uh, community is happy to announce Ramiro Julian Zamora and Bailey Browning as the recipients of our $400 scholarships. Best wishes for continued success in your future. Advanced Eye Care Scholarship. The Advanced Eye Care $500 scholarship was established this year by Dr. McLean. It is awarded to an outstanding EHS senior planning on continuing their education in the healthcare field after graduation at a college or vocational school. Preference is given to a student with demonstrated sensitivity to the needs of others, which is basis for those in healing professions. This year's recipient is Leslie Palacios. Hi, I'm Amy Reed, president of the Eastland Civic League and Garden Club. Congratulations to all of the EHS graduates. It is my honor to announce the recipients of the Civic League's $500 scholarships this year. They are as follows, Taylor Hodges, Cameron Jones, and Kara Shirley. Congratulations, girls, and I pray you go on to do great things. Thanks. All right, I'm Laura Hobbs. I'm the executive director of the Eastland Chamber of Commerce. Today, I'm gonna to be presenting the James T. Wright Scholarship Fund. As many of you know, each year, the Chamber recognizes academic achievement by awarding scholarships. Eastland's outstanding citizen, James T. Wright, dedicated many years of service to the Eastland Chamber of Commerce as the Chamber Manager. In the memory of the Chamber Scholarship, it is known as the James T. Wright Scholarship Award. Mr. Wright was known as the Ambassador of Eastland. He founded and served many boards. He also worked tirelessly at securing many new industries and businesses that were added under his leadership. Some of which are those businesses we know as the newly established Miracle Mile as East Main Street. It's not too new anymore. He was a bigger of life promoter of old rep. He cherished our town and went above and beyond to create the city we know and love called home. Mr. Wright loved to do everything possible for our students as they, as they are the success to our future. This year, we selected the Chamber Board of Directors, selected seven students to participate in the first ever Junior Ambassador Board. The students went through a series to learn about local economical growth, classes in tourism, economics, historical, health, as city, county, and state government classes. The ending of the program, students needed to come together to create a project. The entire ambassador committee, board, and other participants were extremely impressed with the Eastland Renaissance project. The junior chamber ambassadors decided to raise money by offering a free luncheon provided by the FCCLA to community members and asked for donations. These donations would go to purchase materials to redo at least 10 of the outdoor walking art museum murals. Not only would these pieces be updated, but it would involve a vast majority of volunteers and, organi and organizations to step up and assist with the project. Unfortunately, the students were unable to complete the project due to COVID-19. However, they laid the groundwork for what will be the easiest to pick up and continue this project for the Chamber Civic, organization, civic Organizations or future ambassadors. Each student will receive a $500 scholarship this year. In behalf of the Eastland Chamber of Commerce, we want to congratulate and thank each of the ambassadors this year for all your help during various activities and the leadership roles you were in. We wish you best in your future endeavor, endeavors. The Junior Ambassador Board is as follows. President Taylor Hodges, Vice President Taylor Ovalli, Secretary Hannah McGrath, Santina Camacho, Brooklyn Dar, Nathan Majors, and Jalissa Romero. Thank you guys. Hello, my name is Angela Robinson with Kennedy Financial Services. We're honored to be able to present an award to an EHS student who embodies what we call a servant heart. This is someone that's not only giving, gracious and humble, someone that has a zest for life and is excited to go places, has big dreams and goals, 
but also someone that knows that there's more to life than those dreams and goals. There's more to life than simply getting somewhere. It's about helping the others along the way. It's about being able to accomplish something bigger than themselves. And we've picked the perfect candidate this year. Our team voted Miss Brooklyn Dar as the Servant Heart Scholarship recipient of Kennedy Financial Services in the amount of $1,000. Miss Dar, we wish you the very best of luck. We pray that God pours out his blessings on you and that you have joy all your days and that you truly embody the servant heart and are able to pass that legacy along to everyone that you meet. Laura Schaefer Memorial Scholarship. The Laura Schaefer Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of a devoted and caring nurse. Laura was passionate about her career and enjoyed helping others. She always went the extra mile to make sure her patients were well taken care of. She was not only their nurse, but also their friend. Laura held a special place in the hearts of everyone she met. The Laura Schaefer Memorial Scholarship is given to a deserving Eastern High School student planning to pursue a degree in the healthcare field. The recipient of the $500 scholarship honoring Laura Schaefer is Bailey Browning. Eastern Rotary Club Scholarship. Each year, the Rotary Club serves the community in various ways, including the Senior Olympics, Salvation Army Red Kettle Ringing, Old Rip Fest, Radio Days, and fundraising for the Saul Pullman Memorial Scholarship. Saul Pullman passed away in 2010 and will forever be missed. One of the most important things to Saul was the Rotary Club. His nearly 50 years of service and four terms as president shows his commitment to service above self, which is part of the Rotary Club's four-way test. Saul graduated from right here in Eastland and went on to Texas Christian University and eventually to the University of Texas School of Law. Saul Pullman Memorial Scholarship is awarded in his honor to a deserving EHS senior with excellent academic record, a commitment to service, and strong leadership skills. It goes without saying that Saul believed in education, and on behalf of the Eastern Rotary Club, I'd like to present Anthony Bonilla with a $500 Saul Pullman Eastern Rotary Club Scholarship Award. The Travis Hillard Memorial Scholarship is sponsored by the Olden Homecoming Association. Travis Hillard was a superintendent of the Olden ASD for 20 years. Mr. Hillard was respected by faculty and students because of his desire for everyone to reach their greatest potential. The recipient must be an EHS graduating senior showing self-motivation, a desire to succeed, and have a demonstrated financial need. The recipient is a $500 scholarship honoring Travis Hillard is Hannah McGrath. Ben R. Little Scholarship. Ben Ramsey Little was born on September 19, 1948. He was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy at the age of three. He attended West Ward Junior High in Easton High School. He passed away in 1963 at the age of 14. The Ben R. Little Scholarship was established in 1966 with the first recipients being from his class. It is awarded each year to a student that contributes to the community through volunteer work and has good academic performance. This year's $500 scholarships are awarded to Brooklyn Dar. Wendell T. Siebert Memorial Scholarship. The Wendell T. Siebert Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a deserving student who will attend college. This year's $500 scholarship award goes to Brooklyn Dar. Hi, my name is Candy Kennedy, and I'm Executive Vice President and Mortgage Lender for First Financial Bank here in Eastland. As a banker, I understand the value of leadership and the importance of community. We look for leadership qualities in new hires and strongly encourage community participation from our staff. We desire for today's students with natural leadership skills to continue their education and become tomorrow's leaders. This year's recipient is already a leader among his peers and is serving as his senior class president. On behalf of the directors and employees of First Financial Bank, I am honored to present this $500 leadership scholarship to Anthony Bonilla. Good morning. I'm Ron Duncan from the Eastland Lions Club. 
It's my privilege today to present a $500 scholarship uh, to our 2019-2020 Lions Sweetheart. This year's recipient is Cameron Jones. Hello everyone, this is Ben McNabb. My wife Heather and I own Love Oak Pharmacy in Eastland, Texas. We work hard every day to show love and compassion for our patients and our community. And that's why we expect our scholarship recipient to show that same love and compassion through volunteer service. This year, we're excited to announce Taylor Ovalier is our Love Oak Pharmacy scholarship recipient. Taylor, thank you so much for all your hard work and commitment to this community. And we wish the entire class of 2020 a wonderful, healthy, and great year. Have a great day. Good morning. I'm Ron Duncan from the Eastern Lions Club. It's my privilege today to award uh, the uh, Tracy Maynard Memorial Scholarship on behalf of our club. Uh, Tracy Maynard was a dedicated lion that devoted herself to our community and to the Lions Club and Lions causes. Uh, she especially prided herself in her total devotion to community service. After Tracy uh, passed away at a very young age, the Lions uh, f uh, formed this particular scholarship to honor her memory and to honor a, uh, a worthy Eastland High School graduate who exemplified Tracy's ideals of community service. This year's recipient of a $500 scholarship is Taylor Ovala. I'm Bill Culverhouse and I'm honored to present a scholarship in honor of Aaron Bowles. Aaron Bowles was a gifted athlete and avid outdoorsman. On December 27, 1989, a tragic event occurred while he was duck hunting with two friends. Their boat capsized in freezing water. Aaron and his best friend Brad Nicholson both perished. This scholarship was established in memory of Aaron by his family. The Aaron Bowles Memorial Scholarship is awarded to an EHS student athlete who exhibits outstanding morals, integrity, honor, and compassion. The $850 scholarship winner is Anthony Bonilla. A note from Ms. Scott. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are a class overflowing with personality, intelligence, talent, and joy. I am grateful that you are in the class and that we shared part of life together. I pray God's biggest blessings for each one of you. Each year, the Eastland High School Fellowship of Christian Athletes, or FCA, awards a scholarship to students that exemplifies the following. The student must be a member of the organization all four years of high school, serve others, must be a person of high integrity, there are two recipients this year. These are hardworking students that strive for excellence, to be helpful, and to do what is right, both in and out of school. They serve as the co-presidents for FCA this year. The recipients of the $1,000 scholarship are Brooklyn Dar and Belly Browning. Also this year, the FCA is giving a membership scholarship in the amount of $250 to Ethan Bledsoe. Congratulations. The FCCLA scholarship is given to outstanding members of the Eastern FCCLA chapter. These students have gone above and beyond in their efforts to be part of everything that FCCLA represents and everything that the Eastern FCCLA chapter does for the community, the school, and students at Eastern ISD. They have attended numerous catering events, succeeded in multiple competitions, attended community service events as volunteers, and donated their time to fundraisers to fund these scholarships. These students have made FCCLA a priority in their lives and exceeded our expectations. We are very proud of these students and hope that this scholarship helps them accomplish their future goals. The 2020 scholarship recipients are Hannah McGrath and Taylor Ovalli. Eastland Masonic Lodge and the Eastland Chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star. We would like to show our appreciation to all the students, faculty, and administration for all their efforts during this difficult time in all our lives. Your dedication towards our future leaders has exceeded anything like we have never seen before. 
This same type of dedication is a principal key to the Masons and the Eastern Star members. It is our goal to assist, educate, and provide for our communities we support. With that said, the Eastland Masonic Lodge and the Eastland Chapter of the Order of the Eastern Star would like to present our 2020 Marabu B. Lamar scholarships to Jonathan McCoy and Hannah McGrath. Ricky Herrera, Eastland Athletic Booster Club Scholarship. The Eastland Athletic Booster Club sponsors gives $1,000 scholarships for our student athletes. One female athlete and one male athlete will receive this award. Selection for this scholarship is based on coaches' recommendation and given to students that have not received a full academic or athletic scholarship. This year's winners are Brooklyn Dar and Anthony Bonilla. Hello, students. My name is Gary Gray. I am the commander of the Eastland Post 4136 Veterans of Foreign Wars. Just a brief explanation of what uh, the VFW organization is. It's a nonprofit charitable organization established by Mr. James Putnam in September of 1899. Its purposes are patriotism, history, and education. The Carl and Boyd Tanner Post 4136 received our charter in July of 1935. It was named for two brothers from Eastland who were both killed during World War II. Sergeant Boyd Tanner Jr. was the younger brother of Lieutenant Carl Tanner. Boyd wanted to follow in his brother's footsteps Boyd's goal in the military was to be a pilot. Although his vision was not good enough to qualify him for the U.S. military, he went to Canada and joined the Canadian Air Force. He was killed in battle in 1942. His older brother, Carl, was killed in Iwo Jima in 1945. The national motto of the VFW, no one does more for veterans. Our goal here at this post is our motto is no one does more for veterans and our community. We want to encourage all 2020 senior class graduates to be proud of who they are, to be proud of being from Eastland, Texas, and to be proud of being Americans, and to keep that drive alive to be the best you can be. We'd like to congratulate two of the students of this graduating class that applied for our VFW scholarship. Congratulations to Romario Zabala. We believe you have the determination of Sergeant Boyd Tanner. And congratulations to Anthony Bonilla. We believe you have the leadership of the Lieutenant Carl Tanner. Congratulations to all the seniors graduating. Be proud of who you are. Thank you very much. Good morning, my name is Bobby Smith and on behalf of the Smith family, it's my honor and privilege to congratulate Karis Shirley as a recipient of the Cherie Smith Memorial Scholarship for the year 2020. Sheree was an educator, a mother, a military wife, and a Navy veteran. 
She was a loving, giving, and generous soul. She would have been delighted to see a young lady like Karis tackle the world and see her potential realized. Karis, your hard work and dedication will carry you through the next chapters of your life. The support of your family will continue to be a cornerstone for you to build on, but more importantly, be you. Follow your dreams. See what lies ahead. Good luck and God bless you. Eastland County Retired Teachers Association Scholarship is given annually to a graduating senior that will attend Cisco or Ranger College. This year's $500 scholarship winner is Cameron Jones. Hello, I'm Laura Hobbs. I'm the Executive Director of the Eastland Chamber of Commerce, and today I'm going to be presenting the Jana Cogburn Memorial Scholarship Fund. Many of you have heard the story of Jana Cogburn. She passed away in a terrible car accident in 1984 at the young age of 16. Many said she was very beautiful and full of life with so much life left to live. The fund this year is going to help a senior graduate to continue their dreams of going to college. The family picks a recipient and a private donor graciously funds this scholarship each year. This year, the family has chosen Jordan Mayes. We want to say congratulations. We are going to send you a $1,000 scholarship for this year, and we want to wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Yeah. Texas Bank Scholarships. Texas Bank, on behalf of the James and Dorothy Doss Foundation, offers scholarships to Easton High School. The scholarship is awarded to three outstanding students who assist in their pursuit of post-secondary education and training. Texas Bank awards three $1,000 scholarships to students from Eastland High School. This year's awards goes to Brenna Foster, Myra Hernandez, and Sierra Wells. The Katie Brienne Hallmark Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a senior girl chosen by the family. This year's $1,000 scholarship goes to Ms. Bailey Browning. Okay. The Higginbotham Scholarship of Excellence Award was initiated in 2016 in order to help support the students of our community. The recipient of our scholarship must demonstrate a dedication to their education, but also show desire to be a strong part of their community. This year's award goes to a young lady that has shown not only to be a gifted athlete, but one with a strong work ethic that is eager to excel in whatever she puts her mind to. As a participant of numerous programs throughout the high school, she has excelled in each of them. Ladies and gentlemen, please acknowledge this year's Higginbotham Scholarship of Excellence Award winner, Ms. Hannah Jordan. Good afternoon, Eastland Mavericks and the graduating class of the year 2020. I'm E.T. Bradley. I'm president and CEO of EBA Iron, a company my father founded in 1964. And today I thought it would be good to, to come into his old office and sit in his desk where he would be delivering this message if he were here today. Uh, he was quite proud of Eastland High School, having three of his four kids, myself included, graduating from that school. And ever since he passed away in 2005, we have had a Mem Earl C. Bradley Memorial Scholarship that we give out every year, $2,000 to the top 10 students at Eastland High School graduating class. This year, it's a little bit different. For one, I'm doing it on video. I'm not doing it in person, and I apologize for that. Uh, but number two, we also decided that it would be kind of neat to encourage kids to that maybe don't wish to go to a traditional four-year college and uh, maybe they would want to go to a trade school instead. So we're kind of encouraging that for some of the students uh, that want to go that direction. So this year, the top 10 scholastic students receiving the Earl C. Bradley Memorial Scholarship are as follows. Sierra Wells, Brianna Foster, Bailey Browning, Jordan Mays, Hannah McGrath, Brooklyn Dar, Myra Hernandez, Leslie Palacios, Anthony Bonilla, and Romero Zamora will be attending TSTC. I wish to congratulate you all and hope that we may be able to meet in person someday. Some of you already know, but the rest of you, I'd love to meet you in person one of these days. And until then, my friends, keep the faith. The Cook Canyon Scholarship was established by Reese Jones Foundation in 2008. 
The Reese Jones Foundation has a mission to promote education and seeing qualified students continue their education beyond high school. The scholarship shall be awarded to an EHS student who has a strong desire to continue their education, has de demonstrated academic skills, has been involved in extracurricular activities, and is not already receiving a full tuition scholarship. This scholarship is $5,000 a year for four years for a total of $20,000. This year's recipient of the Cook Canyon Scholarship is Brenda Foster. Hello, I'm Adam Bramlett again. I want to say thank you for watching our video. I want to say thank you to our community who stepped up big this year and awarded our seniors with lots of scholarships. I want to say thank you to our senior class. I know this wasn't your storybook ending to your uh, high school career, but we say thank you for your perseverance and your character. We wish you the best going forward, and we will see you next Friday night at graduation. Have a good day.